scumbling, glazing, blending, impasto, alla prima. There are a lot of painting techniques. Today, I'm going to talk about scumbling, how it can help your painting, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First, the what. What is scumbling? Scumbling is the name for the technique of applying paint unevenly to a dry color already on the canvas. And that's all there is to it, so I'll just say it one more time. Scumbling is applying paint unevenly to a dry color on the canvas, or the paper, or the panel. Scumbling must be done on top of another color. If there's no other color first, it's not scumbling. I don't know what it is, but it's not scumbling. And that's because the whole purpose of scumbling is to modify an existing color through the process of optical blending. So for example, let's say you've done some leaves, but they aren't standing out enough. Scumbling a different opaque color on top of those leaves helps to modify the existing color. The goal of scumbling to modify colors that are already there is actually the same as the goal of glazing, although the techniques are very different. Unlike glazing, where the color applied must be transparent with scumbling, the color applied should be opaque. With glazing, the color applied is evenly applied, whereas with scumbling, the color applied is unevenly applied. And that's because you want the color underneath to come through. And by allowing some of that color to come through, you optically blend. The opaque color applied through scumbling often results in a more dramatic change than with glazing. It should be noted that with scumbling, you're also potentially applying more texture to your canvas. So subsequent layers of scumbling will result in a rich textured canvas. So again, to highlight the difference between glazing and scumbling, they're both used to modify an existing color, but with glazing, you're using transparent paint and painting evenly to create a smooth finish. With scumbling, however, you're using opaque paint and you're applying it unevenly, and that results in a textured finish. An old art professor of mine once said that you should be able to read a painting. You should be able to tell the history of the development of that painting by reading the brush strokes. Well, with scumbling, this is quite easy because you can see the layers underneath. Okay, we know what scumbling is, but how do we do it? Let's talk about brushes. Scumbling is easiest with large, flat brushes. And that's because you don't want to use the tip of the brush. You want to use the belly of the brush or the side of the brush. Now, you can scumble with a small brush or with a round brush, but it's just easier with a larger and flatter brush. So what you want to do is slide the brush across the canvas in a very light and gentle way. This will create that uneven texture that you're looking for. When it comes to scumbling, how much paint should you have on your brush? The answer is almost always less than you think you need. You don't need very much paint at all, so I'd recommend starting with very little and see how that goes. Because remember, the uneven application of paint is what you're going for. If there's too much paint on your brush, it's going to apply evenly throughout and it won't be a scumble. You'll just be covering up your old work. The little paint you do have on your brush should be opaque and slightly chunky. This will give you a little bit of texture in your work. And the last thing about how to scumble is that the word itself to scumble uh, comes from the sliding motion across the canvas. Remember, you want to be really light or really gentle with the brush. I'd recommend holding it with two or three fingers in this way. And just a few more notes. The goal with scumbling is not to cover up the colors underneath. It's to modify them. And that is why it's going to be an uneven texture. That uneven modification will result in optical blending. So the colors underneath plus the newly scumbled colors together will create a new richer color from a certain distance. I would recommend that distance be about 10 feet. So every now and then, if you're sitting down to paint, stand up, walk back 10 feet, take a look at your work. So when it comes to scumbling, really do focus on an uneven texture. If it's even, it's not scumbling. It's either covering up your painting or if it's transparent, it's glazing. We're gonna cover glazing in the next video. So until then, happy painting and happy scumbling.